Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Chris. This is Robonics Gaming with Code Vein R8 on PlayStation 4. Let's get started. So, our last video wasn't too great. Yeah. We did get a few new items though. Um. Yeah, let's carry on with this. We've just like cleared the path that we kept going on before. We've got some new... Uh, pathways that we can take. One is below there. We're gonna have to roll off for. It look like there's any hope in getting back. And then the other one is down this way, which is probably gonna be the most likely route we're gonna take. Then I might item up here, which I'm not sure how we get to. Um, assuming, kind of get through across there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to kind of like head back this way just a little bit. Take those out. So we got these uh these like caster robes for dark magic which makes things a lot easier for parrying attacks so we can you know get that drain in and build up more magic points yeah i feel a little bit more confident with that just trying to press the uh, album button there to attack that guy doesn't work um, yeah, so we've been all the way back through here before. I don't think there's anything new. Is there? I kind of want to fight our way back just so we can get some uh, heals and stuff. Should we, should we keep on going? Let's keep on going. We will eventually find a good place to come back from. Oh, he's got a gun. Oh my god, what the f- Right, get out of there. Jesus, heal up. The hell, this guy's crazy with a gun. Oh, absolutely crazy. <laughs> what the hell? He's got like barraged with his rifle. Um. Another enemy around here, like very close. I kind of feel like. Hiding right behind there. Alright, that's it. That's enough for me. <laughs> I've seen enough. I need to have a bit of a rest, kind of level up and see what we can, see what new skills we can get, if we can get any upgrades. Um, so we'll head back this way, then at least if we die we haven't got a, that far of a run back to get our stuff. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of magic. Again, damage this guy a bit. Where he can actually start attacking us. Ow. This guy. like well, the first time you see them they're kind of like they're they're a lot bigger than the other guys so you feel a bit intimidated by them um but once you fight them for a bit that was way too soon uh this is bad Oh, 
Hill, which is a dice storm quite a few times, you can, uh, you know, learn their, learn their moves, learn their timing, and then get some nice parries in, and suddenly they don't seem that scary anymore. This area has been a big learning curve. Um, oh, that's interesting. Um, so we should be able to drop down from there. Might head that way next time. That's the only item that we haven't been able to get just yet uh, in this area. guy oh. <laughs> no So this game, I don't know what it is about this game, but it kind of feels like like some bits seem really easy, some bits seem really challenging. It seems like it's very, I wouldn't say like hit and miss, but let's try and get a, let's try. So I think I might start just trying to parry these guys from the start now instead of really it's not there that I was looking what is that bridge there seems to be like a like a bridge pull this guy out we've got to have that up way before then is gonna start God, I must have like picked up so much like loot where does it go it's down here uh, the question is am I gonna be able to get back right Let's head back, level up a bit first, and then we'll drop down there. Once we've got nothing to lose, right now we've got quite a few, like 17k things. And I want to see what the new abilities, the vestiges, bring to us as well. Um, so we're going to level up presents. Pound cake. Pound cake gave to you by Yakumo. It holds a faint scent of liquor that trickles tickles your nose it is said that items made with care are instilled with a small amount of creator's haze it came with a note that reads i'm not sure if you'll like it but i wanted to give you a token of my gratitude i'm really glad you're around pound cake um, so we've still got these ones but we haven't unlocked those we haven't unlocked these abilities. I think everything else we've kind of... We haven't learned these ones either. Um, Alright, so let's teleport to home base. Uh, let's see what kind of... If we can unlock... I'd just like to point out as well, I don't usually go for casters when I play these types of games. It's usually like uh, strength based melee um, characters. Uh, or kind of uh, balanced. A bit of strength and dexterity for a faster uh, evasion and stuff. 
Um, yeah, I haven't got the like greatest amount of skill with mages. <laughs> sleeping? What is she sleeping for? Restore vestige. Okay, so we've got a few. These are hunter ones. We haven't done... Okay. Let's get Prometheus Vestige 2. Do you want to repair? Sure. Too many people keep reverence as thralls these days. Stay safe and watch yourself out there. Uh, um, my name is Kevin. I could give you a hand with whatever. I'll see you. Here's what I was able to bring. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could repay you. I do this because I want to. Don't worry about me, alright? Tell me if I can help with something. I'll do whatever I can for you. bit more insight into his past and we do have the other ones to go through as well. to face my past head on. Back then, I had no idea what would happen. As Operation Queenslayer dragged on with no foreseeable end, even children were turned into revenants and sent out to fight. And then, when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst. But with resources thin, they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. Honestly, all there was to it. It never occurred to me that my actions could lead to such tragedy. Ah, oh, cool. What is it? Do the rest, I guess.
Is this the last one? I don't think it is the last one, but... Do it. Kevin was a boy who had been enslaved by a group of merciless rebels. Over time, stopping by to give him blood beads became something of a routine. One day, that pattern was broken. When I went to see him, he was nowhere to be found, and his dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything from someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a revenant had attacked him and turned him to ash. The attacker was after the blood beads I gave. Well, that was a bit of a short one. I thought that I could save him just by giving him blood beads. That it would be enough. But I lacked true commitment to his survival. And in the end, that's what killed him. Um, I think that's the case. I appreciate your kindness, but it's unnecessary. It is what it is. What it is. But I won't let myself forget again. I should have gone with the other one. Find out what happened to his killer. Um, so what I'm gathering, this mission Queenslayer. Queenslayer is this cruise in his past. And she became like uh, infected and then went into bloodlust and started turning other people infected. So she was like the queen of the whole infection. And he had the choice to stop her, but couldn't. Um, and so she just killed a lot of people or turned them into revenants. And then that's where everyone like died and then woke up. Oh, that's what I'm assuming anyway, what I'm getting from the story. Could be completely wrong here. Yeah, let's see what this Hunter one is. We've got... Message 1 and 2. Kevin. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Those hellish days went on and on. Stealing to survive. To us, it was only natural. I was ordered to take blood beads from other kids, ones that were just like me. As long as they could get beads, they would live. Survival was more bead to bead than day to day. That was when Louis came along and reached out to me. No one had ever done that for me before.
Kevin the Hunter. So we can find out what happened to him and who the killer was. It's how our world is. I'm sure you've seen it yourself. There's no shortage of people who will exploit others to take their own lives easier. I have crossed blades with their miserable soul on more than one occasion. I was researching the blood meats. It was a small thing, but I was certain that it would do some good. What is it? Um, so there's a few more to do. Let's just go through. Who done? Louis, why do you keep bringing blood beads to some random kid like me? There isn't really a particular reason. But if I had to give one, I'd say it's because you were alive when I met you. That's... Don't keep risking your life for me, Louis. You can't. You don't need to worry about me, really. Focus on keeping yourself alive and well. Louis. which spared me from the constant struggle other revenants faced over them. There was no fear of being turned to ash or becoming one of the lost. I had blood beads, and that meant I had peace for myself. It was all mine. But was that really okay? Crazy kid that's been passing out blood beads, aren't you? Maybe. What if I am? If you've got so many lying around, then how about you pass some along to us? After all, we've been hurting since one of our kids turned lost. I don't have that many. Even if I did, I wouldn't give a single beat to bastards like you. You stupid punk. In that case, we'll just take it by force. So we've got two more to go for these. With input. I was sharing the blood beads I gave him with some of the other revenants. He wasn't stupid. He had to have known what would happen if he did something. Kevin turned bad. 
What did I say? You're just a little boy. Still, I have to admire your guts. Go on. Do what you want. I'll end up dead anyway if you don't bring those blood beads back. Why? Is someone making you collect the beads for them? What's it to you? You plan on giving alms to a poor, miserable thrall. I'm not giving you anything. You'll have to make your own way in the world. What I can do is offer you a job. I need someone to scout out the place marked on this map. Think you can handle that? She'd sent me to the trove alone and unsupervised, so she couldn't very well complain when I took every last blood bead. After all, who am I to turn down an offer like that? I doubt I'll ever see her again anyway. I do what I want to do, and that's all there is to it. Most revenants have lost the majority of their memories. I guess I'm something of an oddity in that respect. I've still got almost all of them. And the things I want to forget aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Lucky me, right? Looks like you have the ability to restore people's memories. If you happen to find anything related to me, be sure to let me know, okay? I'll make it worth your while. There could be something out there that I've forgotten, and if that's the case, I want to see what it is. So the kid found the blood spring after all, hmm? It's like he said, it's my fault for sending him off alone and unsupervised. the last one so this has just turned out to be like a like a story episode what is it all right so let's do this last one the last story of kevin find out what happened to him killer was That was... Kevin, you... You wanted to... He lived a life that he could be proud of. Yeah. I believe you need a real sense of dedication before you can truly say you've saved someone. It's just self-deception to feel like you've helped after giving no more than handouts. But at the same time, I'd be a coward if I only sat back and watched while doing nothing. Even
Even if I'm deceiving myself, I have to keep fighting. And if I fail to help, I'll face up to what I've done. But I also won't let that stop me from trying to help others. That's what I've decided. I couldn't save Cruz. Even when she begged for my help, I wasn't strong enough to do what was necessary. Now, this is all I can do for her. And the world. It doesn't change what happened. Or the fact that I'm responsible for Kevin's death. However, I appreciate you sharing his memories with me. Okay, nice. That is all of the vestiges that we have. Um, so that also allows us to... We have to go back to the, the springs, but that allows us to um, learn the new abilities from so, those blood codes. Louis seems to think awfully highly of you. If you want, you can use my blood code too. Don't get the wrong idea. You're one of my best customers and I want you to keep coming back. I consider this an investment. Interesting. Ah, uh, Mercury. Kodo no Coco allows for safe exploration, exploration with its balanced stats and gifts related to stamina and haze. I've got a whole new line of stock in, thanks to my Herculean app, but seriously, you've made my job a whole lot easier. If you want it, so I got. got it. Um, I call congagulant, a uh, medicine that cures weak, can block the effect of fuse, uh, before being afflicted, causes slowly drained icor to be stored inside the body. The effect led some to believe it could be used to alleviate blood thirst. No favorable results have been reported. Uh, and just general. These are all defensive on uh, blood barrier tonic, small bottle of fermented liquid. Using it temporarily increases resistance to blood. Um. Knowledge could be the most powerful element on the battlefield. Looking around and assessing the situation is absolutely vital. Uh, stamina booster. Alright, okay, so we've got some new things. Oh. Come again, cool. Let's see if we've got any new. Thanks to everyone's hard work. I can offer new weapons. Oh, I'll make some new weapons. Look. Okay, so it's just the ones that we've previously like picked up. And we have They all look kinda of the same. This is gonna be how to kind of look through. So we we're already looking for like dark because that's what we're using for this for this one um if we can transform any equipment Which blood bill do you want to transform? We've got this one on. And we're going to be just looking to increase um, our dark gifts. So we can't do that yet because we don't have the right thing for it. Which weapon do you want to transform? this is always just going to be uh, 
uh, just normal damage. Oh, let's see what I upgraded. Not enough materials, so we need Queen Steel to upgrade those. What do you want to upgrade? Can we upgrade our weapon? We can. that much. So I guess that's all the upgrades we can do. That's not a great deal. Uh, let's have a level up and stop it right there. Actually, let's have a look at um, Coco's uh, gifts. See what, uh, see what stuff we can get out of her. <sighs> okay, uh, Sprinter reduces stamina drained by dashing. Venom resistance, a venom removal, uh, Ragin's Veil, temporarily creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts lightning resistance, a lightning weapon tempor temporarily adds lightning damage to your and your partner's current weapon, nice. Uh, returns you to the last missile touched without losing haze, very nice. Increases slow resistance, cures you and your partner of slow, can block the effective use before being afflicted. Um, oh, so this is pretty nice. Five seconds lightning. Why this? I kind of I want to get the. Uh, This one. That's going to be a good one to have. I guess we have items for that as well, but just having. Um, just having that on the skill bar would make things much easier. I think trying to get like a lot of these would be a good thing to do. Still got. She still can unlock these. Revenant's hunger increases the amount of haze gained from defeating enemies. Yes, we want that. And maintain focus reduces the rate at which the focus gauge is consumed over time while you are focused. Yeah, so these seem like pretty nice spells we can try and uh, gain. Um, and we would have unlocked all of these as well, which is nice. All of these. Oh man, there's so many things to try to get. Uh, like that, spend your own HP to gain I core, increase dexterity. It's all good stuff. What are we gonna do? We're we gonna level up. Balls in. Please. Teleport. So, I don't know if these are in order or not, but. So, we've done the underground city. We've done the ruined city center. Howling pit, we've done 16%. And then we're going to dried up trenches. So I guess this is the next place we should have gone to. Um, so I'm just going to check out this platform underneath and then we're going to come back and do a map and then Howling Pit. Yeah, I just want to have a look down this uh, this platform before it's before I forget about it. Because um, so I'm going to try and make some more videos, but it's probably going to be tomorrow now that I'm going to be able to get on to do this.
It was further around here. Keep going. So we've still got that there to go, which quite possibly might be We're falling down here. Forms to jump down onto. Okay. <laughs> got quite a few of these beasts up here. We do with. Uh, trying to take these guys out. Tap. I get a reach. That was a one shot. That was nice. Dark Seeker Vestige Part B. Oh, okay. How do we get to this part? Still pretty unknown, but let's head this way and see if it leads leads to it. It does. Um, so we've got no like I call left, so we're gonna find this. Broadsword plus three. That of a lost broadsword. Um, broadsword, broadsword, broadsword. Three is here. Yeah, it doesn't really make much of a difference. I think in terms of damage, like in terms of physical damage anyway. I get some counters here. Okay, so that's where we went round. Of a pathway there. All right. Oh, 
Oh, crap. So that's the drop down. Definitely been around there a lot. That's not an upgrade, is it? That's just a normal. Uh, no, just a normal one. Okay, so yeah, so if you like look around on your map, you can kind of see like fate outlines of where new areas are. Um, but I'm pretty sure we've. But without heading on further, I'm pretty sure that's all of this area kind of cleared. But I'll show you what I mean if we go to the end here. There's not going to be one down there, but you'll just see like a faint, faint outline of a pathway. If there was anything there. Gonna be it for this uh, for this episode. Let's have a, have a level up and head back to base. Okay, so before we progress anywhere in that area, we're gonna go back and do the one before. Um, and possibly and one of those uh, dungeons as well, those map dungeons that we found. Yeah, I don't want to leave it too long before I do the next video because I don't want to have to <laughs> keep dying again for it ages at the start. But I, I'm I'm really enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. If some of it is a bit challenging, I mean that's where that's what I enjoy mostly about these games. They're a bit harder. You need to kind of think a bit more about what you're doing and kind of learn strategies to fights and exploration as well. I love exploring things. I like discovering new secrets and everything. There's something I want to give you now that we have the chance. My blood code. That way I can keep helping you out even if I'm not around, right? It's a symbol of trust. Go on, take it. A new blood code. Atlas. Uh, Kodo no Yakumo Shinonomi it allows for the use of heavy armor, great for enduring close quarters combat. Yes, I'll be using that for my uh, heavy weapon playthrough. I overheard something. You're able to read blood code and incorporate it into your own? Girls. Fascinating. It would be an honor for you to take mine. I'm curious to see how you handle it. Hermes. Redona Davis strikes a final balance between melee attacks and a variety of useful gifts. So, uh, is everyone just giving us their blood codes? We didn't get one from her, did we? I know it's a bother, but I'll need you to bring the net. There's a shortage of pretty much everything. Okay. Um, got some blood codes.
Okay, so we have to restore all of these as well, which we got the Herms, Dark Secret is the one we picked up. There's another part, there's a party we need to get. And Atlas is Imamano Keys, whatever his name is. We got Coco's. Ah, uh, yeah. Have a quick look at these blood codes. Before we head out. Um got Davis's. Um oh, I don't want to switch to it. So we go into into the missile and check these out. Uh, bloody impact blasts away foes in an area with a shockwave caused by the release of condensed eye core. Swallow cutter unleashes extremely fast attack in a blink of an eye. An offensive skill performed with two-handed sword or hammer. Uh, stun resistance. Floating light can create a ball of light at your feet. Stun removal cause yeah. Uh, frost spike. Fires a projectile of freezing ice at the target. Uh, is that? Oh, it's a, yeah, light tree. This guy's going to be a light tree. Uh, strength up, increases strength. And that's just a passive. Nice. Uh, steady ball walk. Temporarily increases weapon defense against physical attacks. That would be nice. And these ones are still to get. Revenant's greed increases the chances of items dropping from defeated enemies. Uh, focus Carnage reduces the rate at which the focus gauge is consumed by attacks while you're in focus, while you're focused. And Heroic Fang increases damage dealt by charged drains. Uh, so yeah, some very nice skills from him for a, a big, uh, yeah, any weapon user really. Uh, mainly heavy weapons. Uh, Atlas, have a look at his. Resilient focus, increase the amount of focus gained by receiving damage. Uh, tormenting blast, leap forward and strike twice, an offensive skill that performs form of two handed sword and hammer. Uh, guard drain rating up, increases your drain rating when you guard when you guard an enemy's attack. Wild blood barrier creates a single use barrier around you and your partner that greatly reduces damage. Uh, Dog to fighter. Temporary increases stagger resistance versus enemy attacks. Flashing Fang increases the power of the next attack. Strength Vitality up, increases strength and vitality. Guard Reversal Temporary, temporarily enables you to deflect attacks and stagger opponents after guarding. Uh, impact Wave temporarily adds a shockwave effect to strike attack that deals additional damage. Two-handed sword mastery increases attack power when equipped with two-handed swords. Firm stand, receiving fatal damage when your HP is over a certain amount will leave you with one HP. Oh man, so I'm gonna love getting uh, both of those two blood coats would have uh, for for my other character. I started another playthrough with a melee build, two-handed uh, as a hander. That's gonna be really nice to test out with those. And we, we haven't got the other one yet. We need to do the other power flap. Uh, anyway, this has been going on for a bit too long. <laughs> uh, if you got this far in the video, thank you very much. Um, and if you'd like to show your support for the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. Uh, my name is Chris. This is Webonics Gaming. And hopefully see you guys in the next video. Take care.